again and welcome back to the fourth and final video of Module 7. My name is Kara Tobin and during this video we are going to be looking at financing sanitation systems with climate finance. So what is climate finance? Climate finance refers to financing supporting mitigation and adaptation actions that will address climate change. Funds can be drawn from public, private, and alternative sources of financing. At present, climate financing has, for sanitation has been limited. This video will explain the obstacles of linking sanitation projects to climate finance as well as ideas to overcome these barriers. Here you see the amount of climate finance that went to Sub-Saharan Africa in 2019 and 2020 versus the cost and needs for adaptation and mitigation. In 2019, 30 billion US dollars of climate financing flows went to Africa. This falls way short of the estimated needs and costs of adaptation and mitigation, which were estimated to be 277 billion US dollars. In this chart, taken from the Nature article in your pre-readings, we see the expenditures for sanitation and wastewater treatment compared to total financing provided for Sustainable Development Goal 6, clean water and sanitation for all. As of 2020, we can see that less than 5% of SDG 6 funding has gone towards sanitation in general. Most WASH funds go towards improving the availability and reliability of clean water during times of drought or intense rainfall and flooding. So why is so little climate financing going to sanitation? The economics related explanation is that as of today, WASH does not yield the same potential direct returns as for example in clean energy and electric vehicles. Thus, providing a loan which requires repayment is often not an option for adaptation projects. Sanitation projects are often under the umbrella of adaptation projects because having good sanitation enables communities to be more resilient. Unfortunately, historically, adaptation financing has been dwarfed by the quantity provided by both the public and private sector for classic energy mitigation projects. In 2020, 1.6 billion US dollars was spent on mitigation projects, while only 586 million US dollars was spent on adaptation projects. But times are changing. As you may have seen in the COP27 meeting in Egypt, adaptation efforts are being put at the forefront. Using green adaptation strategies, such as nature-based solutions that you saw in video three, can be very cost-effective and can indeed provide a return on investment. Nature-based adaptation methods are opening new doors to tackling the sanitation infrastructure financing gap. Accessing climate finance for sanitation has been hindered by two primary obstacles. First, there has been a narrow focus on sanitation solutions as a means to address development challenges in low and middle income countries. There has been limited stress on designing infrastructure that is more resilient and durable to the impacts of climate change. Secondly, particularly in low and middle income countries, there is limited capacity required to formulate projects that can show how sanitation economy solutions can provide multiple co-benefits that can address both adaptation and mitigation. Sanitation solutions can improve hygiene or provide valuable byproducts, some even while mitigating emissions. Essentially, the business cases supporting resilience and upcycling have not been made for sanitation services. So how can we address these obstacles? Based on my personal experiences and those of other climate finance experts, it is recommended to propose solutions that stress water reuse 
and energy recovery, valorize sanitation byproducts, increase focus on green, blue, gray hybrid strategies, including the use of nature-based solutions. We should also have more systematic assessments of greenhouse gases from sanitation technologies to show reductions in emissions. A possible solution for accessing more climate financing is to promote a cross-cutting solution. Cross-cutting solutions support both climate adaptation and mitigation. In this image, you see the classic cross-cutting solution of a distributed solar mini-grid. The solution offers clean energy access. At the same time, the solution is decentralized so it is more robust and able to provide power during emergencies. By providing power to communities, it has knock-on effects such as providing ICT solutions for local education. With renewable sources like biogas from sanitation solutions, there is also crossover between mitigation and adaptation. A decentralized biogas toilet system enables sanitation to be robust. At the same time, the reuse of biogas enables the mitigation of emission sources such as methane. According to the World Bank, Water is to adaptation what energy is to mitigation. In this sense, sanitation economy solutions can be thought of as a critical bridge to connect adaptation and mitigation. As previously shown, improved sanitation treatment processes enable nutrient and wastewater upcycling, while they can also create sources of energy. The crossover nature of sanitation put sanitation in a unique position to access climate financing for both adaptation and mitigation. It is very important to note that cross-cutting and adaptation funding options for sanitation are increasing. As you can see in this graph provided by the United Nations Environment Program, adaptation, mitigation, and cross-cutting financing flows have been growing over the years. Climate funding for cross-cutting projects has been consistently increasing by approximately 10% per year. Sanitation solutions are well-placed to access these cross-cutting funding sources. I would like to hear from you later on how you plan to take advantage of this with your sanitation solutions. First, I would like to show you two sources of cross-cutting funding for Africa which were recently deployed. The Development Bank of South Africa started the first private sector climate finance facility for Africa and focuses on infrastructure supporting both climate change adaptation and mitigation. Similarly, the Africa Enterprise Challenge Fund supports innovative enterprises in the agribusiness and renewable energy sectors with the aim of reducing rural poverty, promoting resilient communities, and creating jobs. Today we learned about climate financing and how sanitation solutions can position themselves to access the growing amounts of climate financing. Sanitation is well positioned at the interface of water and energy and has the advantage of being able to address both adaptation and mitigation. Many sanitation solutions are thus capable of accessing new cross-cutting financing facilities. Please stay tuned for final conclusions after this video and don't forget to test yourself with quiz. Thank you for watching.